All right, it's time for another math. Easy solution. We're going to discuss uh, basically formulas and automated tables and how to simplify them. Basically, I have this random table right now. It's not an automated table. I've also gone over uh, introduction to automated tables, and, and you can see in the video link below. It's pretty useful. So basically, uh, I have this, this, this static random columns and numbers here. This one, A, B, C, D. These are just random input numbers I put in, and this is just a while. If you want to calculate something here, if you want to go, let's say, a times it by well, B divided by C and I well this one here I have it right now so we can extend it over here so this this chart graphs whatever this Y is and now this one as you see it's not automated right there and if we want to go to a new column plus say plus uh, 10 or 20 doesn't do anything uh, so it doesn't really do anything there so, but if you want to make it automated all you could do is press control like highlight this other press control T or click insert Go to table, and as you see, yours has uh, table has head headers. So leave it there. Otherwise, it'll make headers for you. So we click that, and then you could change formatting here in the design uh, tab. Let's click this one. I like this one right here. So let's and make this uh, uh, cell around that. So now we have something like this. So if we uh, delete this one, let's write that formula again. So this one a times it by b uh, divided by c. And as you see, everything gets automated there. And if you were to go, let's say, another column, uh, 10, as you can see, it automatically makes it. Uh, it's, yeah, basically automatically graphs. So there's another automatic automatic graph and automatic calculation. So this goes to here. So that's the beauty about automated tables. But now the problem with uh, this formula right here, well, this just looks really bad if you were to review it, especially if you had a way more complex one. So what I found out a couple days ago, actually, you could uh, you could still you could either just basically delete these separately, and then delete this extra one here, and and the calculations still say the same. So now you can just make it a here, and as you can see in this case, see this there's a slight green around the b that's only around that cell. If if you basically this a means this whole column, but it still references only this one here. Uh, only this the first little uh, cell in there so what you could do instead of uh, just picking that number here so you could highlight this one let's say delete it and basically click this entire B so as you can see see how the green changes C4 C7 and now it's just B so that's a much easier way so basically instead of just clicking the one cell so we go with this, this whole column times this whole column times C, and it automatically knows referring to that. And this, as you can see, it's automatically uh, added to every, every one of these cells. So this is the formula. This one looks much neater now. A times B divided by C, and you could edit it much easier for more complex equations. And as you can see, yeah, that's just basically what I wanted to get at, because this is just really simple, and it looks really nice. And once again, you click 11. So two, one, and there you go. You have auto everything automated, and this is pretty amazing. Anyway, that's all for today. Hopefully, uh, you learn from this, and you could always download the this exact Excel file in the Dropbox link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.